you've probably seen dramatic black and white illustrations of brooding skyscrapers and wondered, who drew these hulking monoliths and why? Were they ever built? In the days of hand-drawn designs of all kinds, Hugh Ferris was one of the most famous artists of his day, and his work continues to inspire architects, artists and those interested in imaginative images. The sample drawings for this presentation were mostly unbuilt projects, some were observations of existing structures, and others idealizations of the spirit of the times. They were rarely colored and if so, just a few small areas of the drawing. Now, I have taken these few renderings and processed them through an AI image program to see what the fantastic vision of Ferris would have manifested itself in realistic building programs. Not all the details are able to be replicated exactly, in many cases due to the indeterminate pencil work, which is often very soft and weak, so the algorithm dreams with the artist to extend his creative power. In fact, most of Ferris's work was pure speculation or imagination. The majority of his work could be considered schematic and conceptual drawings which would be take several levels forward in order to be able to build from actual working drawings. So the AI represents in many cases that extra design development done to create a finished looking structure. Hugh Ferris was an American architect and delineator best known for his visionary architectural drawings that depicted towering skyscrapers and urban landscapes with dramatic lighting and shadow effects. Born on September 6, 1889, in St. Louis, Missouri, Ferris's background and upbringing greatly influenced his artistic pursuits. Ferris studied architecture at Washington University in St. Louis and later at the École des Beaux-Arts in Paris. He was trained in the Beaux-Arts tradition, which emphasized classical design principles and meticulous draftsmanship. However, Ferris was also deeply influenced by the rapid urbanization and technological advancements of the early 20th century. One of Ferris's primary inspirations for illustrating buildings was the burgeoning skyline of New York City. He was captivated by the towering skyscrapers that were reshaping the city's landscape and saw architectural illustration as a means of capturing the grandeur and scale of these monumental structures. Ferris's drawings often featured exaggerated perspectives and dramatic lighting, emphasizing the verticality and dynamism of the modern metropolis. Ferris's motivation in art and architecture was to convey the spirit and essence of the urban environment. He believed that architecture should evoke emotion and inspire awe, and he sought to communicate this sense of wonder through his drawings. Ferris's work was characterized by a sense of monumentality and drama, with buildings looming large against the backdrop of the city skyline. In addition to his artistic pursuits, Ferris was also deeply involved in architectural education and advocacy. He taught at Columbia University School of Architecture and served as a consultant on urban planning projects. Ferris's drawings were instrumental in shaping public perception of modern architecture and helped to popularize the Art Deco style that dominated the skyscraper designs of the early 20th century. Ferris's visionary drawings continue to inspire architects, artists, and urban planners to this day, offering a glimpse into an imagined future where architecture transcends the constraints of reality and becomes a symbol of human aspiration and ingenuity.